So the idea for this graphic novel is um, coming up with different ways that the skull can look um, at different times. Uh, that's an, an important part of the um, creative process, I think. Um, you saw me draw this one. Um, didn't see me draw this one because I drew it off camera. That's when I had some uh, camera problems and things like that. Because um, I drew that before that. Um, but I did that with uh, watercolours, pretty much like I did that one. Um, I like this one more because it's it's got more sort of detail to it and it's you know more like the skull that I see normally um, how it should be like the colours and things like that but then I do like this one because um, the concept is more supernatural uh, there's probably more stuff going on and there's more about the skull when it changes colours and things like that I want to experiment with uh, different ideas um, for these skulls and maybe try and resketch some more stuff out um, whether it be pencil drawings, ink drawings uh, watercolour, things like these who knows, I just want to try and examine the you know, the way the skull will look and there's obviously going to be something on the forehead like I've mentioned before I ain't drawn anything there I painted something on there which I don't think you can probably see there I can't really explain that mark but I think it has some kind of meaning I think um, which I'll try and make up <laughs> later on um, so yeah that's where I'm at, at the moment um, there's more to come I need to try and do a bit more writing uh, I've been a bit distracted lately but I want to try and get back into trying to plan out this graphic novel and just try and make it uh, more of a a proper production sort of thing where I go from A to B and you know right the way through and um, so I can show you like the creative process of it all because um, right now it's just looking a bit slapdash where I just do bits and you know bits of stuff here and there and um, I'm not really doing much but I am thinking about it it's ticking over in my mind um, I'm writing little notes here and there and uh, things. I just don't want to give too much away of this, um, particularly because it's like a story-based graphic novel. Well, that's what they usually are, <laughs> story-based. Um, I don't want to give too much of the story away or, you know, spoil it really, because um, I never like, you know, when people spoil stuff and programs and things like that. So, yeah, I just want to try and think carefully how I can do that without giving too much away. So yeah, on with some more drawing. So one aspect of this uh, horror graphic novel that I have to take into account is obviously the cover. Um, now I'm thinking about this early on um, because then I can um, go through many different ideas. But um, I'm just going to sketch something in ink. I think the skull is going to be right at the centre. The cover possibly I don't know best to sketch some ideas and so I'd like the well the skulls quite menacing anyway um, and will be throughout the story so um, it will always have that like menacing look Zoom in slightly. You can see there, that's a bit bright. That I'm just moving, move the light a bit over there. There we go. That's a bit, a little bit better. So I've got the skull image uh, in the centre. Now. In the background I want there to be some kind of images now like as usual like some of the pages and particularly the cover it probably will change um, probably won't stay these ideas I might have a better idea later on but it's a good idea to think about and um, these things quite early on so 
in the sort of background I want there to be a few images which um, sort of like hint to what some parts of the story may be about um, and obviously this this symbol which is a uh, quite a vowel uh, reminder uh, in history and it's the swastika that'll play sort of um, not an important role in the story but it'll be part of the story a little hint there a little circle around it um, it could be on like a little flag or something and there's stuff going on in the background maybe some explosion or something I want there to be hints of stuff um, you know like uh, the like the skull is the cause of it and the cause of something and um, evil things within the story and yeah I think that's the whole point of a cover really um, it's sort of has to draw you know the person in who maybe sees the cover of the graphic novel and um, so that's why I'm thinking about this early on trying to have something placed in the center lots of bright colors um, an evil looking symbol swastika Nazi symbol um, explosions, uh, maybe blood dripping off the skull. You know, just trying to work out um, what the cover will look like. Um, of course what the title will be of the hit graphic novel which I haven't properly worked out yet but I've still got plenty of time to think of a good title um, I could just call it the skull but <laughs> I don't know um, I may come up with a you know with a better idea uh, for the graphic novel um, as time goes on and I don't know there could be other little bits of imagery going on I said explosion there kind of explosion um, there's definitely some kind of significance when the skull is found um, that's all I will say about the story um, and as to why it was in the ground we don't know so you know only I know <laughs> and uh, I'm just working out the story details. But I like to work, especially when I'm thinking about story, I like to work in bits and pieces and then try and connect all them up, you know, together like sort of like a jigsaw puzzle. And, you know, I don't I really work with one idea and then try and fit it all together. Um, it's a it's a weird way of doing things, but it's my way, my little process, if you will. It's obviously like, um, I've got this little image here. I'm not really sure what to put in the, the bottom of this, um, you know, maybe like a church or something. I'll have to practice drawing churches so I can't <laughs> I think they usually got like um, massive doorways aren't they and massive windows glass windows church like little graveyard something <laughs> just little there uh, 
nods to the story. Um, important little elements here and there that I just want to get sort of sorted. Every little steps lead into the church. I don't really want to reference any particular um, real buildings, I don't think, in this. Um, I just like to make it up really. Um, create a sort of a city or a world where um, nothing reflects um, sort of real landmarks and things like that. Um, you know, there'll be just like themes which we recognise from history and stuff like that. So we'll just see how that pans out. I'm sketching with an ink pen, it's uh, rather weird, but it's needed sometimes. Just to see what I could do. So we've got the skull explosion. Let's see, symbol, church, with graves here and there. Um, I will have to think of some kind of logo, title, font thing. And just try and work that out. But for now, I'll just put skull. Because I know what I'm on about. So with this graphic novel that I'm working on, I've been thinking about the the actual colour of it. Um, you know whether there'll be actually any colouring within it. And I've been thinking about uh, doing like a full, like a grey tone type comic, but um if there's going to be any blood in it that'll be red and if there's any um sort of like supernatural elements like power and fire and stuff like that they'll be colored but for the most part everything else will be gray tones um i think it'll give it a, some kind of visual tone which uh might set it apart from other graphic novels and things like that um so i'm just going to experiment it with you know with the colors and stuff but early on I'm thinking grey tones and there's that dog again <laughs> I, you know without fail <laughs> so yeah just add like uh, you know grey tones to all the characters and things so like the way it is in Walking Dead uh, the comic um, but like I said any blood I'm gonna put red um, because it you know, I'd like to see the Walking Dead comic, um, you know, with all the blood and everything within it, but um, that's what I'll do in my graphic novel because I want to, I want the uh, the contrast to be, you know, a lot of the supernatural elements that are going to be in this and the blood to be contrasting against just the grey tone of um, sort of the atmosphere, you know, with the characters and things like that. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, so that was just a, a thought for the day on the graphic novel, The Skull. So here's just a quick sketch of this tramp that will be in this story, like a hobo um, of some sort. Um, you know, still working on the design. Um, and I'm still unsure whether it'll be like an important player in this story, I don't know. Um, I think it'll be good if he is, but we'll just wait and see, because I don't want to give anything away, so it's just about uh, trying to work things out. Yeah, just a quick ink sketch. Uh, I'm going to leave this video there for now. Uh, still a lot to work out exactly how I'm going to uh, draw all these pages how many pages is going to be uh, again the prices and of the actual graphic novel and um, things like that um, but we'll see we'll see how we go along um, you know the last video that I did uh, a little look at the you know the first five pages I'm not going to do that um, in future sort of like weekly vlogs with these uh, production notes sort of thing um, I'm gonna just draw 
bits and bobs of concepts and stuff and explain what's happening and what I've decided and stuff like that uh, with this graphic novel so yeah I'll pretty much do that so I'm going to end it there and I'll see you next week cheers now <laughs>